never get to go through this tunnel with nice exhaust. Everybody's always pussyfooting on through here. But I can at least do those. What is up, my truth bags? Woo! Big wave monster, back on the bike. I am headed to La Machina Cafe in Evanston. It's uh, mid-February, it's about 57 degrees, and uh, it's a Tuesday night drill meet. First, uh, first bike eligible drill meet. And by bike eligible, I mean the first night that's comfortable enough and not brutal to be able to ride our motorcycles. So, hell yeah! Oh man, it feels really good. It feels really good to be back on the bike. The weather's been just unseasonably warm for the past like three or four days. I'm gonna probably be 70s tomorrow. To be able to ride to work tomorrow, which is gonna be just superb. So what is going on in your guys' lives, huh? What has been new? What new developments have you had? happen over winter well for me and I didn't want to uh, bring it up too soon but a big pretty big thing is uh, happening to me in my life uh, my wife actually found out that she is pregnant yes yes oh yeah can you feel that buddy huh? 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 oh it's so awesome we've been tr we were trying so it's not a surprise or anything but uh, that is really exciting. She's pregnant. Oh, but get this. The even more exciting thing is that she's having two. She is having two twin baby boys. Boy, oh boy, you know what that means. Another fucking two bikes in the garage. <laughs> but not for a year or two, a few years or a couple of years. When can they start riding bikes? I don't know. But as soon as they can, we're getting them a couple of dirt bikes. We're learning how to ride. But yeah, it's a really exciting time in our lives. We're going to about to have two baby boys she's due in June so we got a couple months to go and twins always come early they'll probably come beginning of May maybe late April who knows she's trying to bake them in the oven as long as she can well to go along with the uh, the craziness that's craziness that's been going on with my wife and our twins uh, another crazy thing's been going on is uh, about two weeks ago on a Saturday night uh, my dog fell almost deathly ill yeah, it's pretty scary. We were uh, pretty distraught over that. We thought she was gonna die. And we really actually don't even know exactly what happened. But uh, first we went to the animal hospital because she threw up like 12 times or whatever during the day, throughout the day. And then she kept throwing up at night. She was good for a little bit, then started throwing up again at night. So we were like, fuck it, we gotta go to the animal hospital. So we went to the emergency at like four in the morning. Stayed there until basically like seven in the morning. Did all sorts of tests, everything, and test came came back like she was, you know, having liver failure essentially. Like her liver numbers were really high, and when they're really high, it means that there's the cells in the liver are damaged, so they're leaking out their enzymes more than what they normally should. So that happened. We were like, oh god, we were distraught, crying fucking it was terrible two days later a day later she basically bounced back and was like perfectly fine like 100 percent and two weeks later now here she is she's still fine doing great we have her on a few medications for liver and we have her on a few uh, a new food which is uh supposed to be better for the for liver diseases so they either thought it was cirrhosis or some type of liver disease like hepatitis and Tess came back like she had cirrhosis or a, a severe liver disease but like I said she's bounced back and she's perfectly fine we don't know what's going on but at the two week anniversary today we took her to the vet again she's getting a full blood panel to see where her liver enzymes are at and if they're basically back to normal then we're just assuming that she got into some type of toxin either in the yard or a mushroom or whatever the fuck it might be so we are actually hoping that's the case because the 
you know, she can make a full recovery. And it seems like she has, because she is a fucking champ. Anyways, crazy things have been going on. A lot of stuff. Try to get some more videos out to you. I guarantee you I'm not going to have a lot of time once the twins come. But I'm going to try. Uh, I like to stay busy. So, you know, if I can sit down to edit a movie for a few hours, a couple of nights a week or something like that, I'll try to do that. But, uh, you know, sorry if it's... Uh, if I can't prom I can't deliver on that promise. But uh, I got a little bit of highway left to go. I'm gonna flip you guys back on when I get a little closer. Talk to you later. Peace. Well, I was supposed to come with Il Mostro tonight, but uh, he uh, had to stay late at work. It's all right though. He doesn't really like these long trips to either Evanston or downtown. So. He can just relax and stay at the office. So back to the baby boys. We, uh, I think we have some names that we like. Not gonna obviously reveal them quite yet. We'll make sure our family gets a chance to know what their names are before the entire world. Although I only have like 80 subs, so not very many of you uh, probably even know who I am or my family, so <laughs> who my family is, so <laughs> you probably won't matter, I guess, but. I could still hold off. Unseasonably warm and beautiful weather is just fantastic. I was able to get out the past few days. One time just for a quick little jaunt because I had to get the water out of the bike because I uh, gave it a nice little washing. Nice little washing and waxing. Uh, yeah. Seriously, if motorcycles were like not horribly impractical, I would probably get rid of my car for another motorcycle. With them baby boys on the way, I gotta lug around diapers and formula and shit. Oh, but I just fucking love motorcycling. Ooh, baby! Oh yeah! You're drifting, bitch! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wow! Camels got ran over. Holy shit. See people? Make sure you always stop fully at stoplights. That's a pretty cool little graffiti wall. Might take a picture over there. Am I the only one here? Well guys, looks like I am the only one here. Ha! Gay! I'm gonna go inside, get a drink. Talk to you guys later. Peace. How are you? Yeah, good, how are you? Fine. Are you okay? I'm fine. Yeah, I was just taking a picture by the, the mural. Okay, I just, the reason I'm stopping, I'm Officer Kerrigan, by the way. Everything's also being recorded on my camera. Okay. Is yours still running? Uh, I think so, it's yeah. Thinking, so, okay. Um, I just need to see your driver's license. Sure. I stopped you because you were driving on the sidewalk. Yeah. Okay. I didn't think it was that big of a deal because I was just taking a picture but it's not you seem like you're okay i just want to make sure you weren't no i'm i am fine okay i actually just came from la machina we had a meet with a bunch of ducati riders okay